So this movement's been known to make an appearance during my 9.30 a.m. Sunday morning class, the Hangover Cure. It is a great movement prep exercise. Uh, it comes from functional range conditioning, and I love it because it addresses both tight quads as well as strengthening hamstrings. So usually most people are extremely tight in their quads, they overuse them, uh, and they're weaker in the hamstrings. So this kills two birds with one stone. And what I really like about the movement is it addresses the hamstrings in the short range, which uh, we very rarely do. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off in this half kneeling position here. I'm going to keep that knee stacked underneath the hip and the shoulder. And you're going to get into this rectus femoris stretch. So we're getting a nice stretch through that quad muscle here. So what we're doing from this top position is I'm going to pull my heel towards my butt as far as I can. And then what I'm going to do is slowly release that leg and keep it from slingshotting down to the ground. I'm slowly uh, releasing and moving it toward the ground. And then I'm going to slowly curl it back up to that top position as high as I can until I can grab it help it in, but I'm still contracting right back to that start position, and then I'm slowly going to repeat this. So I love this for about three to five repetitions per side, doing it maybe two to three sets pre-workout. It's awesome to get the hamstring fired up and also open up that hip area. Now, if you're going to get, you, you might get some cramping in that hamstring, completely normal if you haven't done it before. Eventually, that's going to go away once your body gets accustomed to the movement. If you can't put your knee on the floor here, like this, then the other option for you is raising against the post. So ideally, you'd like to get your hip against the post with that quad so that you can really feel that stretch. If not, you can do it from a standing position as well if you need a little bit of hip flexion. But preferably, you're going to do it from this position here against the post. Same idea, standing up. You're going to slowly release that leg. Guide it all the way down and then slowly curl it right back up to that top position, as high as you can, before giving it a little bit of help back up to the top. Okay, so give this a try.